This is the Cholo News Report for Tuesday 14, November, 2017. Thousands of Iranians are forced to spend a second night outdoors in near-freezing temperatures after an earthquake hit the country's western border with Iraq. Newly constructed buildings held up well, but the old houses built with earth were totally destroyed, it told State TV while visiting the affected region. The Iranian Red Crescent said many areas lacked water and electricity and that aid supplies were being hampered by blocked roads. The 7.3 magnitude quake, the deadliest in the world this year struck at 2100, and 18 local time said. The BBC reveals that a secret deal allowed hundreds of ISIL fighters and their families, including some of their most notorious members, escape from Raqqa in a convoy that was between 6 to 7 kilometers long. The United States government confirms that the deal with ISIL was made, and that the evacuations took place. The Syrian Democratic Forces, an alliance of Kurdish and Arab fighters opposed to IS, wanted him to lead a convoy that would take hundreds of families displaced by fighting from the town of Taka on the Euphrates River to a camp further north. Instead, it would take three days of hard driving, carrying a deadly cargo hundreds of IS fighters, their families and tons of weapons and ammunition. Disillusioned, weary of the constant fighting and fearing for his life. Abu Basi decided to leave for the safety of Idlib. The death toll from the earthquake in Iraq and Iran exceeds 400, with over 7,000 injured. The death toll is expected to rise further in coming days. Videos and images from the town of Sarpol Zahab, about 10 miles from the border, showed partially collapsed buildings and residents wrapped in blankets in the streets. One photograph distributed by state media showed a woman clutching what appeared to be a dead child covered in a white shroud. In Iraq, the health ministry said seven people died and 535 were injured, with the damage and casualties concentrated in the northern Kurdish region. 23 European Union countries sign a defense integration pact, known as the Permanent Structured Cooperation. NATO members Denmark, Portugal and the United Kingdom First proposed in the 50s and long resisted by Britain, European defense planning, operations and weapons development now stands its best chance. In years as London steps aside, and the United States pushes Europe to pay more for its security. The pact includes all EU governments except Britain, which is leaving the bloc, Denmark, which has opted out of defense matters, Ireland, Portugal and Malta. Paris originally wanted a vanguard of EU countries to bring money and assets to friend called military missions and projects, while Berlin has sought to be more inclusive, which could reduce effectiveness. RT America registers with the U.S. Department of Justice as a foreign agent in the United States. Margarita Simonian, editor-in-chief of Russian broadcaster RT, meets with journalists with the Cathedral of Christ. The Saviour Seen in the Background, in Moscow, Russia, October 17, 2016. The Department of Justice confirmed that it received a registration from TR Productions LLC, which has operated studios for RT, hired and paid, U. S. based, employees and produced English language programming. In October, Twitter announced it would no longer allow advertisements from RT and another Brimlinback news organization, citing intelligence that the television station participated in efforts to influence the election. U.S. President Donald Trump selects Ellie Lilly's American Division President and former HHS Deputy Secretary Alex Azar to be Secretary of Health and Human Services, replacing Tom Price who resigned on September 29th. After graduating from Yale Law School, Aza, 50, clerked for Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia, and then worked, 14 independent counsel, Ken Starr on the so-called Whitewater, investigation that embroiled the Clinton administration.